Aujourd'hui, le patrimoine du lambic n'existe plus. Hein. La gueuse, qui était une boisson populaire à l'époque, eh le peuple ne la boit plus. Hey Jonathan, how are you doing? Uh, if you announce that we're gonna have balls, yeah. we have almost 4,000 people connected to the website trying to refresh. Today we find ourselves in a situation where people are ready to pay what traditional lambic beer is worth. Which I relate to a broader trend in food and drink. People began to care about knowing the story about it and knowing how it was made. Le lambic est une bière de fermentation spontanée. So we never had any kind of yeast. It takes time, you cannot control, you have uh, to hope. It's such a pure beer. But 70s, 80s, even 90s, no one is asking for Lambic. Different times in my life I said, it's over, that's enough. Ça allait très mal comme dans toutes les brasseries de Lambic à l'époque. Hein? And today, Lambic is very trendy. It's something that no other beer quite has. Some people we start left and right. If there's any hype around the beer, don't blame it on me. I just started making beer because I love Lambic and I thought I could make something too. There are a lot of things that I don't understand sometimes. It's become a milieu totally different. In such a brewery, when, when such a, a history, it's very emotional. Very emotional. The goal is to stay relevant in a world where things are expanding, consumers are challenging. It's about preserving tradition and making a viable business of traditional lambic. And again, the question is, what is tradition, of course? People are always asking for new things. That's not a problem. But never betray the beer. Never. I can't fucking believe that people would ever pay the amount of the money they would for a fucking lambic. God bless everybody, man, because holy shit, man, you couldn't give this shit away fucking 20 years ago, man.